Is this thing on? I think it is. Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here and you are very welcome my friends and welcome to Big Mouth and welcome to my video about Arrow asking why is it ending? Is it actually ending? Are they playing us for fools? Well this is the video that Stephen Amell himself posted. Let's have a look what he had to say. Buddy, um, hi, it is Wednesday afternoon, it's a little after three o'clock, and um, uh, if you've been following social media for the past 18 minutes, then um, you know that we have a bit of an announcement to make. I, I really love everyone to bear with me here. I'm going to have to turn off the comments because I'm worried that one of them's going to make me cry. Uh, <clears throat> okay, well, it is, uh, it's, it's been nearly seven years since we shot the pilot of Arrow, and uh, just a few minutes ago, on the, well, just outside the stage where we actually shot most of the pilot, where I came my very first time coming to the production office, and, uh, my God, uh, and where I met most of the crew, uh, a lot of which were there today on our, on our camera test day, and just our sort of first day of school before we began production. Just let everyone know that uh, after a 10 episode run, uh, after a 10 episode run in season 8, uh, Arrow will be concluding. Um, I, I wanted to speak with the crew first because they're the most uh, important part of the show without a doubt and uh, they deserve to, to know the news. Um, but there are a bunch of people for me to thank and just uh, just, a, just a few th things, things for me to say. And, just wanted everyone to know the story and wanted to come from me and wanted to be in the non parse uh, presentation, so to speak. Towards the end of season six, I approached Greg Berlanti, who I will be thanking in a second, and said that I thought, both personally and professionally, that at the end of my commitment this coming season, it would be the best for, for me to, to move on. Um, I've always been a I've always been a fan of, of television shows that not only don't overstay their welcome, but end in a manner that really packs a punch. And so it had always been my hope that, that we would know when we were going to finish this journey and not live to the finish line, so to speak. After a lot of discussion, Greg and I decided that the best way to do this would be to have me come back for a limited run in season eight, which is what we're going to do. And uh, from there, I had always hoped that beyond the 17 different shows that, that Arrow has spawned, I'm kidding, it's only like 16, that, um, that there was a possibility that the show could live on beyond, beyond me because uh, the entity of Oliver Queen and the character and the mythos and the iconography of Green Arrow has always been something that's bigger than than me or any other actor that's playing him or voicing him, there's always been something more to it. I spoke with Beth Schwartz and Mark Guggenheim this past Friday and then Greg Berlanti this past Friday night, and it was the decision of WB and CW and Beth and Greg and Mark in a very mutual way, um, based off of, of what they thought was best for the show creatively and, and being very arm, honorable and respectful as pertains to to my wishes that we were going to end after a 10 episode run next year. <sighs> Even though I've known that this is coming, it is still a very emotional time because I have been on the show in what can only be described as a fundamentally transformational, nearly decade long run in my life to, to start it as a, as an actor who doesn't have a lot of experience, who was, you know, sort of dating someone, to now a large part of this decision being because I'm now a father and a husband, and a lot of my uh, life and interests now don't really reside in, in Vancouver anymore, and thinking that that's the best thing for me personally and professionally. To say that it has been uh, a, a real sea change over the past seven plus years would be a, a vast understatement. So I'd like to begin by thanking Greg Berlanti 
And all of the executives that have been involved in Arrow, beginning with Mark and Andrew and extending it to Wendy and now with Beth, who has uh, given this show a, a, a vibrancy and, and a life that I think is just so uncommon for something that's in its seventh season and drifting upwards of 160 episodes at this point. I, I can't thank all of those partners enough to all of our directors, but principally along the way, David Nutter and Glenn Winter and Wendy Miracle and James Banford, who came on in, in season five as the producing director and has been a steadying hand and has really given us just a, a lot of things that I think we never knew were missing until they were there. I'm not going to be able to thank everyone by name, but, uh, and I'm going to forget people, so I'd like to apologize. At, at WB, Peter Roth has just shown such an amazing amount of, of, of faith in the show, and that's been so, just so wonderful. At, at, at the CW, um, Mark Pedowitz and Susan Gomez, Suzanne Gomez, who is uh, not watching this because she's out of the office at the moment. She knows what I'm talking about. And Paul Hewitt, uh, we had a dinner this past fall with, with Mark and and Paul up in Vancouver because Mark Pedowitz makes a trip every year to come and see how we're doing. And he had some of the most kind, lovely, thoughtful words to say. So uh, I'm glad that I have been uh, an ambassador for both WB, but especially for the CW because when we came aboard, uh, was when he came aboard, and to see the changes that the network has gone through have been really special. I'd like to thank Diane Nelson and Jeff Johns at DC for having the faith that, that we could be a good ambassador for, for one of their characters, and then for having the faith that this show can help spawn much bigger characters, which was always such a joy for me that they had that sort of faith in us. I've already spoken about the crew, and just there's just too many people to name along the way. But for some of the people that were here during the pilot, you know who you are. And the first thing that I said was I wanted to finish this run with as many people who began it as possible. And I really do hope that that, that comes to pass. And then the cast. Um, whether you came here at the beginning or you came here in season five or six and fitted seamlessly. I've had the pleasure of working with so many wonderful actors and so many actors that just surprised and delighted me by coming on the show and telling me that they were fans of what we did as a collective. I would like to thank my family, specifically my wife, Cassandra, and my daughter, Maverick, for, for putting it. Well, well, that's a very emotional video from Stephen Amell. Now, I, he posted this just minutes after the news was announced on social media. I'm only just seeing this video now. I didn't know it existed. This is why I was going to do a kind of video about talking about why Arrow was, is ending. And is it actually ending? What's going on here? Now, in this video, Stephen says he wanted to leave back in season six. I'm assuming his contract wasn't going to end until after season eight. So he wanted to leave. He wanted to do a 10 episode run. He didn't want to do a 20 plus episode run. That's obvious. So from if you if you can accept what Stephen's saying here, he's saying the show's pretty much ending because he wanted to leave. He didn't want to do the show anymore because he has a family. He, his interests are away from Canada, where they make Arrow. So, very, very interesting. So, if you're looking for why this show is ending, if you can accept this, and you, you can accept what he's saying, it's because he wanted to leave. I get the impression he wanted to leave for a while. Arrow gave us two amazing seasons. Probably two of the best seasons in comic book TV history, they were amazing. But then the show became very dumbed down. A little bit political, but very dumbed down. 
for more for teenagers and the CW target audience. And I kept faith with it within season three, four. Season five was a very good season. Three and four weren't very good seasons. They were okay. I thought the first half of season three was amazing. Uh, season three uh, part B wasn't as good, in my opinion. Um, four wasn't great, um, but I thought Damien Dark was an okay villain and I kind of enjoyed that. Five was brilliant. And then I started to switch off of it, especially because Netflix stopped giving episodes internationally. They do for the other Arrowverse shows, but not for Arrow. I don't know what happened there. But basically, this show was fantastic for two seasons. Then it got dumbed down. So if you follow the Arrowverse, and I follow it on and off, I, I, I know from Emergency Awesome's video that Nora Allen and Reverse Flash are planning to stitch Arrow up, Green Arrow up, by making sure he disappears and not Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash. So obviously, this is all intertwined with what's going to happen. So we know they're doing a very, very special crossover. We know he made a big deal, um, Oliver Queen, with the Monitor in the last crossover. Is it the Monitor? So, yeah. So he's going to, it looks like at one point or another, he's going to vanish. Now, if he vanishes at the end of the final season run, I believe he's coming back. Now, I didn't play all of that video, but basically there's a part on that video where he, he does say, or he does another video, and we ain't got the time to do it on here, but another video where he says, you know Arrowverse, you know, uh, people never disappear forever. I suspect there's many, you know, things could, that could happen here. That these characters, including him, will recur on another show, or recur in the future crossovers for the show. But there's another situation here. What if the show goes off the air for a season? And then when Green Arrow, aka Oliver Queen, returns from wherever he's been, when that is fixed, the Green Arrow TV show returns, which would pretty much make them liars. Um, and I don't want to start accusing people of lying, but there's something going on here. So uh, A, Oliver Queen, will reoccur on the other shows eventually when this storyline's finished. B, he will he will return after he's vanished in season eight, right? I don't know. I don't know how they're going to play this. Um, but it, it looks like a genuine video. It looks like he doesn't want to do it anymore. Although I haven't been as enamoured with the show as I was in the first two seasons, I was very surprised because... Arrowverse shows just keep on getting renewed, mainly because they do very good business on streaming and on Blu-ray and DVD. Their ratings aren't great, but they, these shows do very, very well and make a lot of money for Warner Brothers, and no question about that. So there's a lot of options here. What could happen? So are we being led a merry dance? Will this show come back after a year off? Is he telling the truth that he can't work in Canada anymore? Because of his family commitments, maybe he's been given an opportunity somewhere else. Who knows? It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens next. But I am going to I'm going to say one thing that Stephen Amell has always been a straight shooter with the fans. I remember once he told a fan, "If you don't like Arrow, don't watch it." Not many people would say that. Uh, it's not great business, but he said it because after season two, people were very angry and frustrated with the show because it'd been dumped down. I took his advice in the end and stopped watching it because I can't waste my time on a string of shows, and this goes for Arrowverse altogether, that want to, want to imply that they're a place for everyone, but then constantly keep on telling men that they suck. And I'm a man, and I don't want to be told that I suck. Maybe I do suck. Sometimes I do suck, yes. Sometimes I, maybe I'm not as respectful to women as I should be. Maybe I'm a bad guy. I don't know. But I don't want to watch TV that constantly tells me that I, I suck and every woman is, is a glower, is all, awesome. I don't want to watch that. It's not something that I'm interested in. So this show was fantastic for two years. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? Who knows where these characters are going to show up within this universe? Let me know what you think down below. What do you think of this video? He's very emotional. Is, is it genuine? Is this show gone forever? 
what's going to happen. Please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share and subscribe if you want to.